For improved system performance, long-term financial returns, and less risk on your PV projects, look to the proven performance of DuPont Materials and Solutions. Hello and welcome to PV Tech Newscast. This week coming direct from Solar Power UK Conference and Exhibition, the most important event for the industry being held here at the NEC in Birmingham. Coming up in this week's news. Solar Power, a saviour to 6.3 million households suffering from fuel poverty. China Sunergy signs a big project deal in the UK and SMA releasing smart home system to the UK market. First, latest figures highlight that fuel poverty affects 6.3 million households in the UK, with almost 30,000 deaths blamed on low incomes and high energy bills. Local governments across the country have identified that solar has a key role to play in tackling this problem. The Chartered Institute of Housing believe that the adoption of solar by social landlords will become an important market for the solar industry in the UK. Fuel poverty is, is a bit below the radar for people. That um, uh, Certainly solar PV has been sold on the basis of uh, mitigating climate change, which of course is very important. It's a general benefit for, for, for tenants. Solar PV can play a role in reducing fuel costs and giving people access to free uh, electricity at, times, at certain times of the day. And um, every local authority, every social landlord should be thinking about fuel poverty amongst their residents because fuel poverty has been increasing. China Sunergy, with a view to expanding its UK presence, has just signed a 50 megawatt memorandum of understanding for projects that will be located in Cornwall and Devon and each project will have a maximum PV capacity of 10 megawatts. The MOU was signed at the start of Solar Power UK. SMA Solar, the largest PV inverter manufacturer in the world, will soon be offering its smart home system in the UK, as revealed here at Solar Power UK. The technology has already been successfully introduced into the German market, which is switching emphasis away from export to self-consumption, which indicates that the company expects the same to happen in the UK market. Electricity prices are going up. Uh, we're already getting paid on the feed-in tariff that we're generating from our inverters. So our whole thing is to try and push, you know, why not use what we generate? That's our main thing. And, and we've brought out the, the Sunny Home Manager uh, to, to do exactly that. So the, con the concept is that it's connected to your, to your retrofit, so already your Sunny Boy in place, as long as it has Bluetooth. Connected via Bluetooth uh, and via Ethernet to, to your router or server point. Um, we then have uh, Bluetooth plugs, which can be retrofitted around the house to your tumble dryer, washing machine. Um, and then the, if we have a 16 panel uh, house generating four kilowatts, and we've got a, a perfect day, the Sunny Home Manager can access the internet will check the weather forecast and say, yeah, I believe we've got six hours uh, of, of beautiful sunshine. We're going we're to be generating four kilowatts for six hours. I will now turn on the washing machine because I know the load's one and a half kilowatts. I know the cycle's only 60 minutes, so I've got that, that gap. I've got a spare two or three kilowatts. Let's turn the dishwasher on. So the whole idea is to utilize what we're actually generating if you're at work during the day, instead of feeding it back to the grid and getting your nominal three, four P, which you would uh, anyway, actually already use what you're generating um, to, to sort of top it up and, and uh, improve the self-consumption of the house. Specialist UK-based solar manufacturer Romag revealed its in-house designed hybrid PV and solar thermal module system at Solar Power UK. Field trials and future manufacturing in 2013 is on the cards. Well, the idea is to harvest as much of the sun's energy from a single source as possible. Currently, we've got generally uh, PV systems of different kinds and we've got solar thermal systems, both which take either heat energy or electrical energy from converting sunlight. Uh, this is a combined product, dual generation, so a single panel generates electricity and heat and it does it more efficiently 
than the two systems separately. In effect, what you're doing is you're taking away the heat from the back of the PV. What that does, it allows you to generate 15% or more over the air electricity compared to a normal PV panel. But the waste heat is taken away by a very, very simple um, heat sink system, which is uh, our IP, and uh, that goes into to supplement uh, your hot water system. UK contractors need to learn from the mistakes made in other countries fast to keep up with the demand from knowledgeable consumers, according to a leading expert. Jerry Hamilton from Rexel Renewables says that the feed-in tariff has done what it was meant to do, and now there's no hiding place for poor quality work and inferior service. He's urging the whole industry to get through the mistakes as quickly as possible. The market in the last 12 months has been after a huge um, price pushes. Some manufacturers are able to get there quicker than others. And I ask this one big important question, how? Some manufacturers that are buying uh, lower quality, even a back sheet that saves them uh, a few pence per module will have huge effects over the years in the UK. And, and really it's just about learning. We're not doing anything different in this country than other countries have had to do, but it is very frustrating to see the lessons being repeated and purely understanding what you're buying. You'd do it if you were buying a car, you'd do it if you were buying a TV, and I think the maturing of the end client is happening faster than perhaps some customers, contractors, are actually aware. That's it for this week, and thanks for joining us at the NEC in Birmingham. Keep up to date on pvtech.org, and for more breaking news from Solar Power UK, on solarpowerportal.co.uk.